Hello students, we shall now prove that every fuzzy complement has at most one equilibrium. To prove this, first we should know what is an equilibrium. So, equilibrium of a fuzzy complement C is defined as any value A for which C of A is equal to A. So, the complement of that particular value will be the value itself. In that case, this, uh, this value is said to be an equilibrium of the fuzzy complement C. Now we shall prove that every fuzzy complement has at most one equilibrium. So let us see the proof now. So first we shall assume a complement that is fuzzy complement. So let C be an arbitrary fuzzy complement. So now an equilibrium of this value C is the solution will be the solution of the equation C of A equal to A that is C of A minus A equal to 0. So we shall an equilibrium of C is a solution of the equation C of A taking this to the side negative A is equal to 0 where A is an element of closed interval 0 comma 1 and now we have to prove that to prove C has at most one equilibrium now in order to show that we can also show that the solution of the equation the equation now this equation can be written as c of a negative a equal to b okay for uh, b uh, a real constant so we can prove that this equation has at most one solution so at most one solution so we have to prove that this equation has at most one solution we are going to prove this by the method of contradiction we are going to assume that this equation has uh, two solutions and we are going to prove the that it is a contradiction so let us assume the contradiction let us assume the contradiction so let us assume that C of A minus A equal to B has two solutions, two different solutions, say A1 and A2, such that a1 is lesser than A2. So, we take it in this way. So, we have to prove that it has at most one solution. We are going to prove this by the method of contradiction. So, we are going to assume the contradiction. So, what is the contradiction? We are assuming that C of A minus A equal to B has two different solutions A1 and A2 where A1 is lesser than A2. So, now uh, because A1 is a solution of this equation, it will satisfy this equation. So, what we will get? C of A1 minus A1 to be equal to B. Also, A2 is a solution of this equation. So, we get C of A2 minus A2 to be equal to B. So, from this equation 1 and 2, we see that equation 1 is equal to equation 2. So, we can uh, say that 
the because uh, this is b and this is b both are same so uh, this equation and this equation are equal to one another which means that c of a1 minus a1 is equal to c of a2 minus a2 so now let us mark this as some equation 3 okay so after marking this as equation 3 let us have it as such now by one of the axiom okay of the complement property this axiom stays says that for all a comma b element of closed interval 1 comma 0 comma 1 if a is lesser than b then c of a will be greater than or equal to c of b that is c is monotonically increasing the complement c is monotonically increasing now using this axiom over a1 and a2 now what do we know we know that a1 is lesser than a2 so this will imply that c of a1 is greater i mean uh, c of uh, yes this is lesser so c of a1 will be greater than or equal to c of a2 so this implies that c is monotonically increasing so we have uh, c of a1 to be greater than or equal to c of a2 so uh, from this we have two cases that is c of a1 greater than c of a2 and c of a1 equal to c of a2 so we neglect the second uh, thing because uh, we are uh, we are concerned with c of a1 greater than c of a2 so c of a1 to be greater than c of a2 so we consider this now because a1 is lesser than a2 now a1 is a smaller quantity c of a1 is a bigger quantity than this so now this smaller quantity if we subtract from this bigger quantity of this inequality again it will this inequality will remain bigger only so the so c of a1 minus uh, a1 because this is smaller than a2 so this will remain greater if we subtract c of a2 by a2 so because a1 is lesser than a2 if we subtract a1 from c of a1 in this inequality this inequality remains the same it doesn't change the reason is a1 is lesser than a2 so this is a greater quantity this is a smaller quantity so uh, anyway the, uh, inequal the inequality remains the same so now let us mark this as equation 4 now from equation 3 what do we know just now we saw here c of a1 minus a1 is equal to c of a2 minus a2 equation 4 says that c of a1 minus a1 is greater than c of a2 minus a2 so we see from we observe from equation 3 and 4 that the they are not same they are different so it it cannot happen at the same time that is uh, equation 4 contradicts equation 3 so if this is a contradiction then our assumption that c of a minus a equal to b has two solutions it is not true it is wrong then so this implies that c of a minus a equal to b has at most has at most one solution one solution so this means that the complement c has at most one equilibrium so we have hence we have proved that every fuzzy complement has at most one equilibrium hope you have understood this proof this is a significant seven mark question thank you